Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside and his flashlight starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um, or see you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this, and the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious, but Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. A YouTuber named Johnny B. Good goes ghost investigating at an underground memorial deep in the woods to see if they can uncover any evidence of the paranormal. They notice these rocks are in a strange formation that I think could have been used for some kind of black magic. These rocks were placed here in a circle once, yeah. in this one corner. Why is there a hole right there? Sure enough, holes are in two corners of the room. Could this be part of the spell? They ask if this place is a portal, and look what their K2 meter does in response. Is that a gateway to you? Yeah, okay. And here's where it goes from creepy to downright sinister. Their UV light detects two blotches of fluid. They could have come from some kind of vein opening ritual that never should have been. Sometimes when you're looking for the past on, you find the living. Published by H.D. Adam in February of 2022, this paranormal crew faces off with a very angry, alive dude. While exploring what they think is an abandoned building, they first see this strange image reflected in a window. It looks like an angry face, but are we just imagining that? A minute later, the face remains. One of the crew goes to check an adjacent door. After finding it locked, he turns away. A moment later, something bangs loudly on the door. Continuing on, they open the door to another room and find this mysterious man sitting in the darkness. The man seems angry. He stands up and starts yelling at them. He tells the crew to get out of his house, and they are soon pushed out with force. Next time, they'd better be sure no one's home. <laughs> An employee walks by when the corner of her hand cart gets caught on the corner of this looming wall display. She shakes it loose with a sharp tug, sending an entire wall of spiky pegged hooks cascading down. It looks like she gets taken out pretty badly. Then at the very end, she's standing off to the side, stunned but still okay. I'm so glad she is okay, but the thought of how this could have went wrong makes me still wish I hadn't seen this video. A TikTok user named Dixon83 catches a paranormal experience in the kitchen, which he had suspected was haunted for some time. His suspicions are confirmed when his cat trots through and the closest cabinet door swings open by itself, followed by what I think is a heavy exhale. His cat is definitely looking directly into the cabinet at something unseen. Tell me what you think it was. Please don't try this yourself, but apparently there's a part of the eye that can be touched without producing a stinging sensation. This person pulls down their eyelid and gives a sharp poke to the outside corner of their eye like it's no big deal. He presses down several times in a row without even watering up, which is certainly more than I can say for myself while watching this video. I don't even want to know how he figured out this bizarre trick or how many times he had to practice before getting it right. These books appear to be flying off the shelf all by themselves at an Alamo gift shop after hours.
It's hard to tell if they were truly pulled out by a ghost or if someone was just pushing them from the other side of the shelf and playing a prank. We'll never know for sure, but if this were to happen anywhere in Texas, then a historical site like the Alamo would be a very likely location. A YouTuber named Tobias Project checks his home security camera and is surprised to find his neighbor climbing his stairs to access the roof. Notice how he stops at the top of the stairs to make sure no one is home. It's pretty obvious that he knows he doesn't belong. He looks inside the window for an extended period of time and then calls no less than three friends, one of which is carrying a case of glass bottle beverages. I'm not sure exactly what they were doing here, but apparently they later told Tobias Project that they were working on a movie when he confronted them. I didn't see any camera equipment, so I doubt that is the real reason. Let me know if you think they were scoping out his place or just trying to party. Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. While well, you don't see anything run past, this group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the hill house with them? Champ is the name of a giant creature thought to lurk in Lake Champlain, a 125 long body of fresh water bordering New York, Vermont, and Quebec. It starts out small and then shows more of itself, and I think I see and hear air bubbles. The way this thing moves is nothing like a piece of driftwood. This appears to be a living creature capable of changing directions and diving. And there's more air bubbles. Maybe these legends had some truth to them after all. Or so this video would make us believe. When a scary video isn't self-explanatory, it's time to break out some armchair detective work. But even if you're Sherlock or Enola Holmes, you'll have a tough time connecting the dots of this video. Published to YouTube in March of 2012, Ghosts Are Real 66 writes, Been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame. Found the image of what looks like a ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed. The video was taken at Kinder Cemetery, established in 1902. While scanning some tombstones at a distance, a distinct flash is caught on camera. While zooming in, you can make out a figure, although you can't really distinguish its dress. YouTuber Mainly Mainly says that he's wearing suspenders and a white shirt, but that's up for interpretation. Some think it's a reflection in a car window, others are sure it's the paranormal, and I'm leaning towards the latter. When a shadow passes through your security footage, you know you're not alone. Posted by Lily Monique to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Lily shares that her uncle David and her father work for mall security. She writes, This is what my dad and uncle caught on mall security cameras where they work in the middle of the night in the parking lot. The video shows David standing in the middle of the empty lot. He remains there in the light, and no one at all is around. But then a shadow passes close to the camera, completely blocking him from view for a moment. It almost looks as if a figure glided directly in front of the security camera. If I were David, I'd be looking over my shoulder in that parking garage. A group of people in Michigan are having a casual conversation outside when something unexplainable suddenly interrupts them. The cameraman immediately zooms in on the strange intrusion. This is the Paulding Light. 
an intensely burning white hot shimmer that has no explainable source. As the people in this video are talking about what it could be, two more lights suddenly appear. The lights fade in and out as they move rapidly across the skyline. Sometimes it's just the red lights, and sometimes the single white light grows extremely large. The objects are moving extremely fast and even seem to be traveling towards them. Still, the group thinks that they are far enough away to be safe, and plus, they are right by their cars in case things get too crazy, so they keep filming. One person in the group is sure that they are watching the headlights of a car, but no one else buys this explanation because of the erratic way the lights are moving. Now I'm not saying that it definitely is or isn't a car, but the point is nobody knows for sure what the Paulding light is or how it came to be. With that said, there are some local legends. Some say it's the lantern of a passed away railroad worker who was crushed on the tracks, while others say it's the Grim Reaper himself. I'm curious to read what you think it is after seeing this video. Jonathan Savo published this video in January 2015. After visiting his girlfriend in a Paris hospital, he wrote that a woman in the next bed was roaring and screeching with the voice of a devil, and that's what the video captures. <sighs> The woman is seen lying flat in a bed, speaking in a raspy, evil voice. She is harassing the couple, calling them tacky and ugly, and telling them they're all going to die. Although you can only see her profile in the video, and you can't see her mouth moving, what you can see is her chest rising and falling as she delivers her angry tirade of insults and threats. She then says she's going to call her mafia friend, after which she claims she's going to remove her IV drip so they can get out of the hospital. That's where the clip ends, leaving us wondering if the woman did in fact try to escape. But John doesn't leave us hanging. In his own words, he wrote, I was no longer filming when she or it started to get up and wanted to take the life of a person sitting next to her. Five nurses came in to stop her, and we were asked to leave the room quickly. What happened next, John doesn't know. Prior to this experience, John says he was skeptical about demonic possessions and everything related to them. But after seeing one in the flesh, He's a believer. Paranormal Lone Star thinks they've spotted some strange activity while exploring the basement of the old Stanford Inn in Stanford, Texas. Down here is where an entity named Ernest is said to haunt. First, they find his saw. Looks like I had a, had a saw right there. Oh, wow. That's, That's the rest. That's the rest on the. Then they find Ernest, or so it seems. I'm not liking this here. The saw is no doubt real because there is still a nail where it used to hang on the wall. But as for Ernest, the ghost sighting, I'm not so sure. You can hear the paranormal investigators in the room so it wasn't them, but it could have been a third person dressed in black pretending to be a real ghost caught on camera. This one's a lot more boo than peak. Published by Fun with SK in May of 2022 and originally published by YouTuber Simply Sareth, this scary video captured something creepy playing peekaboo around a corner. Sareth is outside this haunted home, his camera facing the front door, when his night vision footage captures this creepy creature peering around the doorway. What is this figure? It certainly looks human in size, but is it a ghost or is it just a living human being so super creepy? I think these are questions we'll never get the answers to. YouTuber 91 South found a demon in their attic and they captured it on video. See if you can spot it. Creepy bad. Did you see it? Watch this moment right after he turns the camera away from him. An unexplained red glow brightens up the far end of the attic, and some strange beast appears at the center before the glow dims. 
It's hard for me to tell at this distance what it is, but I'm not sure how you can explain this light and the figure's appearance. My guess is that it's either a demon or a malfunctioning toy stuck at the far end of the attic. This Snapchat video was taken at a school in Esterville, Iowa. You can see a deer standing outside looking very confused before it suddenly tries to get in without warning. Watch out. <laughs> Clearly, the zombie deer wants to get inside however it can, searching around the sides of the glass for an opening, before giving up and resuming its confused, vegetative state. Those inside are lucky that this deer is too small to break the glass. If this was a full-grown deer running at them, things could have been much different. Hopefully, they contacted animal control and thoroughly disinfected this door before letting anyone touch it. Ivan Dragunov stands at the top of the stairs, leading down to his basement and says something in a language I can't understand. Try to translate what he says, and more importantly, tell me if you can hear a brief whisper echoing all around him. Okay, Tukima Duhoe. At the bottom of the stairs, something unseen fills Ivan with dread, and he can't seem to catch his breath. He tries to run, but fear overrides the signal and his feet stand still. The room is cast into a heavy silence until whatever is watching him finally moves forward. <sighs> You never get to see it, but whatever was down there sounds quite large and coming from the other side of the room, so it's very unlikely that Ivan was making the noise himself. Oh, and something tells me he won't be finding the courage to change the light bulb down there for a long time. Ring doorbells seem to capture more than you were bargaining for. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Yakuza Disco Man. This redditor is wondering if what he's caught on his ring doorbell is paranormal. The security camera shows a wide shot of a street outside his home with several parked cars along it. Nothing unusual, that is, until this ghostly figure streams past in the darkness. The semi-transparent phantom appears like he's trailing fog. Is this a spirit on a nighttime stroll? Redditor Noobvin reigns on our ghost hunting parade writing. This is a camera glitch due to low lighting, and the way the ring camera saves space with video and images, it's looking for pixel changes, and with low light, it is only detecting a fraction of the actual image, which makes the image appear transparent, noting that it's not really a glitch per se, but rather the design of the camera in order to reduce high bandwidth. Noobvin is pretty sure it's not a ghost. Others suggested that the Redditor reenact the event under these same conditions to see if he can replicate this. Let's hope he does. Better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, I genuinely think this footage is creepy. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.